been a month that I did not post on my YouTube channel. I'm back to Toronto. I was away in Orlando. While I was in Orlando, I decided to actually uh, do my YouTube videos and I'm not gonna skip any Wednesday. However, while I was there, the first Wednesday, the first week while I was there, I recorded a video with my nephew and I edited that video uh, there, but it took me a long time. So I didn't finish it and I decided uh, that I want to spend a quality time with my nephew and my sister. So I did not touch any of my work and all these stuff. Now I'm back and um, I decided that I still want to share that video. So whatever you're gonna see in this video is actually recorded when I was in Orlando it's all about InShot app where I uh, use use it to edit my videos uh, some videos for real or Instagram IGTV and actually the video that I, you're gonna see on this in this uh, YouTube video is actually uh, edited on InShot <laughs> I missed last Wednesday and I didn't want to miss this Wednesday so I am in Orlando the weather is amazing I'm with my nephew and this is the first time I see him so I wanted to record this video with him and in this video I'll be showing you how to use InShot app on your phone where you edit all your videos I edit all my videos on InShot app and I love it um, there's a free version and a paid version here is InShot app I'm using my iPad but I do have this app on my phone, which is paid, but on my iPad, it's not paid. And I'm going to show you how to use InShot. I love this app because you can edit your YouTube videos or any kind of videos you do for any kind of social media. I'll just go to video over here. And if I will choose, for example, the word, and also you can choose a photo, for example. So I will be choosing one of those photos and then you click here on the mark on the green check mark the cool thing about this app that you can if you forgot and you want to add another video you just click here on the red plus sign and then you just click here and you add another video now as you can see there is all the photos video to choose is basically the size of the video that we want and it's all ready if i want it for youtube tiktok and there's different sizes depends what you're doing so for example i will do this for um instagram story or reel and this is the size of it and you can also as well use the zoom and for example for the background you can change the background ratio and for that usually for example if i go to um ratio and i put youtube as you can see here you can see the background so what i'll do i'll go to background and you can choose how how you want your background do you want it really blurry or you don't want any background and you can also choose a color behind it so this is the color or you can even do gradient there's patterns over here it's pretty cool so for example i'm just gonna keep that and zoom in or you can just do zoom in up to you i'm just gonna do this and then the ratio as we said i'm gonna go back to tiktok and then make it a bit smaller so you can actually just with two fingers with just like how you zoom on a photo on on your phone or instagram or anything you use um, I'm going to actually move it around just a bit to keep it in the middle and then you click on the check mark so that's it that's the first step we did over here then what you can do also if you click and hold you will see all the videos that you chose uh, over here and switch between them by just moving it around now uh, if you want you can add music you can even they have some music and you can also um, import from your music um, you can do as well record and then they have effect sound example I just want to show you for example I'll pick whatever the song you say download and then use you will see it up there on top of the video and it's pretty simple you can't only access that video sound only when you're 
on the music and once you're there what you can do is basically you can control the volume of this you can fade it out fade it in in the beginning let's say i want it fade in fade out and then that's it now if i want to uh, mute the video sound or just make it lower i'll just go for example to 29 and that's it so each video uh, you can control by itself depends on how many video you have over here and now you can also add some sticker there's so many stickers you can also download all these for free but also there's some of them of for example you pay for and add an image inside this photo so for example i want to choose an image on top of this so you can definitely as well do that so that's and you can choose the length that you want it to be shown this photo so for example i don't want it here hold it and put it in the beginning of the video music and all this stuff now i have the text so you can again choose the color that you want for this let's say yeah it's up to you to choose how you want it and then the length that you want it to be shown for um i'm going to remove that let's keep it this way and you can decide how long you want that to be shown for just by dragging that arrow over here that's about the text you can also use filter i always use it whenever i have my face in the video because i like it to be bright so for example if you want that bright you can brighten it you can use the contrast warmth tint everything just like an image you can definitely play with the tone color with all these you can sharpen your photo see like see the difference there and then effect the effects are really cool for example i want that effect well, you can decide where do you want it and how how long again so i'm just gonna add that effect over here between moving from one video to another now if you want to add for example a video inside the video here and also you pick the links of this video and add a filter you okay so now um in trim and split so for example i want to trim or cut this i'll go to trim there is cut there is split for me most of the time so the trim is that you control it or the cut it cut randomly and the split it, it you can decide on the split however i don't use the re uh, the pre-cut over here most of the time whenever i want to let's say split something and delete the rest i i split that part so whatever that white line is and click on split it split it into two part and for example i don't want this part i'll just delete it or if i want to split this image into two and take one part and put it for example and put it somewhere here so now i have this image split it in two and in two different places so that's what split is for the lead volume and then the speed this is great for speed and i know that the people who watch uh, my stories most of the time they're very like on a fast rhythm so i'm just gonna add another video over here and add the speed on it and once see i want to transition so before i add that if you click on any of these white squares between each video we can do transition so for example you can do that that's how we're gonna move from one place to another from one footage to another so there you go and then this one i want to speed that video and you know if you watch my videos you know that i love and my stories i love those speedy video so i always do it that way and it's pretty fast um i just want to put the volume down over here because um, i don't want to cover my voice and so for example right here volume on this video on this specific video i don't want any music or volume and i'm gonna delete this one there you see how fast that is but also you can do slow-mo and it's great i love the speed in here and you can do slow-mo as well 
Okay, so this is replaced. If you want to replace the video, if you want to duplicate any image, you can do that. And of course, there's a cropping. So if I just want the lemon to show, I can crop that. And there you go. The whole thing is cropped in there. Eight flip, you can flip the image the way you want and decide you want it. You can also freeze a specific photo and so that's also a cool thing. So if I put on this and I want to reverse it, um, that's cool if you're like jumping in the pool and then it takes you out of the pool. So, um, so once you're done, so these are all the, all the tools in this app. I love InShot. Um, there is not much difference between this or the paid app. The only thing when you save, you don't see the logo for InShot in your videos. So that's it. So this is the video. Once I finish, I usually click on this arrow on the top one and then you decide on the resolution you want to save your video. And I just click save. So if you do like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and bye!